This question comes to us from Daniel from Canada, and Daniel says he's a left side dominant player. And the throwing the ball thing, you know, he likes to think about his left hand, so how can we use your left side? Well, most of my career I was all left-sided because when I started they weakened my grip, they told me I had to hold the angle, rotate and point my back of my hand at the ground so it was all left-sided. So I used a lot of my left hand. Now a couple years ago I had a stroke. In my left side I lost a lot of my coordination and strength for a long period of time. So I started feeling more my right. Now there isn't a, there isn't a correct side to feel, but if you're feeling it in your left side, here's the deal. The throwing the ball, so when I, if I'm just going to use my left arm, and we've talked a lot initially about your left arm is a rotator, it is not a puller. So everybody talks about pull with the left arm, pull, 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 well no, that's not what's happening. If you pull down with your left arm or pull forward, this is what everybody thinks pull is, they pull this way, you're going to be late with the face which is you're late with throwing the ball. So if I related it to my right hand, see to throw the ball, my left arm has to rotate and tip the momentum of the club out just like my right hand's throwing the ball this way. So if I did a slow motion here, or I did it with both hands, whether I'm throwing the ball with my right or I'm directing the momentum of the club with my left, you see it, it's, it's, it just depends on which side I'm using, but they're both rotating and directing the momentum of the club into the ball. Where people get in trouble is when they start trying to do this and then try to catch the face up, which is where I spent 75, 80% of my golf career. It's why I struggled. So left arm is a rotator. So let's review left arm for just a minute here. So I just saw a video by one of the top teachers in America and he said, when you get to the top of your swing, what you want to do is take your left arm and pull it against your side. So press it against your side. Well, I understand you want pressure. But if you get up here and you pull your left arm in against your side like this, if you pull this this way and your body goes that way, the club's just going to get further and further behind you. What causes this pressure? Well, when I get to the top of my swing and I change directions, this arm is elongated. Plus, my body starts to move forward. Now, at the same time, my left hand is coming down and it's trying to rotate the club face out. Well, that inward rotation, if you watch what happens here, is my body's going this way. The handle's coming up. That pushes this in against my side. So that's what holds this pressure. Not getting here and pulling my arm across my chest. Because if I get here and I pull my arm across my chest, I'm going to be so late with the club, it's incredible. So I'm up at the top, as I change directions, the handle comes down, my left arm rotates the club back out in front of me. So right from the very top is where that arm is rotating, just like I'm throwing a ball with my right hand. So again, this picture, whether you're thinking about how your left arm tips the club out or you're thinking how your right hand throws the ball, you can go either side. They both work. I've done them both over my career. I started with left, or I started with right, went to left, now I'm back to right again. So they both work.